Van Heesch is said to have donated her organs to up to eight other people who needed transplants following her shock death last week. The Six Days and Seven Nights star suffered a car crash on August 5 that left her on life support for just over a week. Anne's organs were removed by surgeons in a bid to use them to save other patients' lives, according to TMZ sources. The actress' organs are said to represent the gift of life for up to eight other people who need them. It is not known which organs may have been donated. However, surgeons were prepared to perform the transplants as soon as Anne was taken off life support, according to NBC News. Anne's family recently issued a statement explaining that it had long been her choice to donate her organs and she's being kept on life support to determine if any are viable. The news of Anne's death came a week after her Mini Cooper smashed into a two-story house. Following the crash, the car was engulfed in flames in the neighborhood of Mar Vista. As a result, Anne suffered lung damage, burns, and a severe anoxic brain injury, which is caused by a sustained lack of oxygen to the brain. In a statement released on Friday, August 12, Anne's family gave an update on the tragic events. The statement read, It has long been her choice to donate her organs and she is being kept on life support to determine if any are viable. Anne had a huge heart and touched everyone she met with her generous spirit. More than her extraordinary talent, she saw spreading kindness and joy as her life's work, especially moving the needle for acceptance of who you love. Dot she will be remembered for her courageous honesty and dearly missed for her light. Anne's family thanked the dedicated staff and wonderful nurses at the Grossman Burn Center at West Hills Hospital who had given her care during the actress final days. The actress remained in a critical condition in a coma at the hospital following the crash. Speaking after the accident, LAPD spokesman Matthew Cruz said the incident was being investigated as a felony driving under the influence collision. He told PA, this case is still an active and ongoing investigation. It is currently in the process of gathering additional evidence, to include final toxicology results, and medical records from both parties involved. It is the intent of the investigating detectives to present this case to the appropriate prosecuting office, the Los Angeles County District Attorney or the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office once all pertinent evidence has been gathered. The spokesman claimed that the preliminary blood tests showed clear signs of narcotics, 